and welcome to Aiden's Network. It was a while back since I made a video, but now I have a new review on the very interesting Bose QC20i in-ear noise cancelling earphones. So let's start off with the comfort for these headphones and the build. In-ear headphones has always been problematic for me. I always get pain in my ears after some extended use, and the cable often break after some time. The cable noise is awful on many offerings, and not to mention all of the distracting noise that surrounds me when I'm using earbuds outside. Will Bose change my thoughts on in-ear headphones? In short words, yes. The amount of comfort that these buds give me is incredible. I even forget that I'm wearing it after a while of use. In fact, I would choose the Stay Rear Plus tip found on the Bose QC20 any day over the third-party Comply tips. It has a great fit and will stay there when you exercise. Just plug it in the right way as it isn't as easy as just pressing the buds in. You need to do more than that as I demonstrate. Also be careful when, char ch when changing the ear tips as the shark fin tends to get ripped off. So comfort gets 9.5 out of 10. The body itself is very discreet and nice looking and is made out of lightweight and durable plastic that feels premium and although it's plastic and it simply doesn't scratch when tossing it around. The cable has a grey slash black look and it doesn't only look cool but it is very thick and has a durable feeling. Made for durability. Down the cable you will find the electronics and the battery module taking care of the noise cancelling and active EQ. Ergonomics wise it is a minus but the form factor is small making it a better solution than other manufacturers. The 3.5mm gold plated plug is well designed with a 90 degree tilt and gives some elevation when plugged in making it no problem when the case is attached on your phone. So builds get a 9 out of 10 and durability 8 out of 10 just because of the fragile tips. But you can replace it if there is any problem. So let's quickly jump into the sound department. I often use my around the ear headphones ju just because it gives me sound quality that an earbud can't compete with. With the Bose QC20i headphones though, I was stunned by the amount of quality bass produced and its extension. The mids are clear and well balanced together with nice highs, although the highs sound a bit muffled for my taste, but I think that it will be solved after breaking in the earbuds. These headphones are great for all types of music with its balanced and rich sound. In Ed Tran songs like Don't and Sing, you can really feel the balanced punchy bass and very pleasant mids. I also used some flag lossless audio files for testing and man those details are spectacular. Some strategies that Bose uses here is active EQ that takes the sound and makes it better with electronics. It's like a custom Bose EQ and that is necessary because of the noise cancellation which tends to destroy the original sound produced so electronics make a way around that. Now to the legendary Bose noise cancellation, also found on these headphones. Just first off, wow. I can't believe that earbuds can deliver such a powerful NC, much more effective than a Bose QC15 I would say. Sadly it doesn't cover the whole spectrum but for what it is it's fantastic. It blocks out all of the low frequency sounds, literally and it even does a good job blocking out other people's noise. You still can hear some people talking in the background in a crowded place, but it's way much better and way more sound and not bothersome, as it would be without headphones. Perfect for school, which was the location I used these earphones the most. Also, the discreet design lets me use noise cancellation without having a big bulky around ear headphone on me or over ear. And it's and the practi practicality of just putting your earbuds that advanced and good sounding in your pocket in a matter of seconds is just fantastic. Much more practical than Bose QC15 or Bose QC3 or even the new Bose QC25. Tell me if you want to see a review on that headphone. I'm really interested. Okay, 
With a wear mode, you can hear everything around you, but with some degree of NC when using the earphones, making it even more practical. One thing though I noticed is a slight hiss in the background when NC is turned on, which isn't a deal breaker by any means, but it is a bit irritating when everything else is so perfect. Other things to mention is that the active EQ is enabled only when the noise cancellation is turned on, so you can expect worse sound when battery dies and you have to use them passively. The battery time is as impressive as 16 hours of use, which is great compared to the form factor of the battery module, which also houses a processor and other stuff. Just have in mind that the battery can take you through 500 charging cycles, approximately 3 years of often use, so after that lifetime you will see degenerated battery life. I charge mine once a week, so it will last me longer than that. So now I think that I have covered most of the stuff, so let's do a quick summary. Good build and durability together with nice battery life and a fantastic noise cancellation that also includes rich and great sound quality all in the nice build that I mentioned, which also happens to be fractions of the size of round ear headphones like the Bose QC25s. I mean, these earphones can easily compete with full size headphones, but still giving the incredible convenience of a pair in ear headphones. These headphones are strongly recommended by me and I'm so happy that I bought them. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you guys the next time. If you liked the video, please give it a like or subscribe. Peace.